so yeah, this is uh You're so mad at me right now. This is pretty <laughs> last minute right now. You were so angry. It's eleven thirty at night. I was actually like half asleep in bed. <laughs> uh, Trent calls me back. I called Trent at like eight. It was eight fifty seven PM. All right. Eight thirty seven PM. And you're like, and, I was like and then Trent called he's like, Can I call you back in a little bit? I was like, Yeah, yeah, I got you. And then it's 11 o'clock at night, and he's like, yo, we forgot to podcast. <laughs> the reason why I completely forgot is because we podcasted earlier to, to make up for uh, uh, for Total Nonstop. Yeah, for Total Nonstop Impact. We did. Yeah. You guessed it on that one for me to take uh, Kyle's place. And so we mentally were thinking, oh, we just did a podcast. We're good. Yeah, because I'm only used to doing one podcast a week. <laughs> So, so we this is, the, uh, this is the half baked and almost famous episode, guys. So <laughs> yeah, just, just that gives you enough uh, warning of how today's episode's gonna be. I was uh, the reason I remembered was not on my own. I was going through Twitter and Chico Sixtos. Oh, uh, that guy. Yeah, that guy <laughs> who you got to do whatever with. He's like, he was trying to turn us against each other. I know Chico. What the you, hell, you, man? You were trying you to think, drive away. Like, you, you really think? That Trent and I haven't gotten in enough Cub Sox arguments on our own that we need someone to facilitate that. Like, we know that's cheap heat. I just didn't know there was an argument between you two, and then all of a sudden I got tagged. I'm like, what? A... It so I was like just like, argument, but like <laughs> it's just funny because like lately people on Twitter like give a fuck about what I say, and I'm just like, why? I just take pictures, man. Like, I just take pictures, man. I just take leave pictures. Me alone. Just leave me yeah. alone. Like, this one guy's like, I was like, yo, dude, it's chill. China got in the Hall of Fame. Like, she's with DX. Like, the official China account is is happy. Everyone's happy. Like, stop being negative. And this dude was just, like, being a complete Debbie Downer about it. And then I was like, oh, you work for WWE? You know know what their intentions are? He's like, I just know, man. And then I saw he was following me. And then I was like, all right, dude. I was just being super sarcastic. Like, you know how I am. Super sarcastic. And I was like, okay. That's all I replied with. <laughs> and then he's and then he unfollowed me and he's like, You're entitled to your opinion and I'm entitled to mine. I was like, Okay, then don't comment on my shit with your stupid opinions. Yeah, seriously. What the hell? <laughs> Chico Sixtos was uh, I don't know, I just got a bunch of notifications. I log in, I was like, Hey, you guys are arguing about the Cubs and the and the Brewers. And I was like, Hey, does me being a Sox fan apply here? And you're like, No. I'm like, All right, <laughs> continue. <laughs> he was just he just brought in because I, uh, he's a, who was he a fan? He was a fan of some team that has not won a World Series the yet. Brewers. He was, he was the Brewers. Brewers. There we yeah. go. That's what it was. Because you know what? I'm thinking in Ohio because Ohio was on this list that I sent him. Oh. And, uh, he was just shit talking. He's like, number 163. And I was, and that's the, uh, the extra game that we had to play because Cubs and Brewers were completely tied at the, at the end of 162. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, but uh, you didn't even make the World Series. So who gives a fuck that you played an extra game to get to the same exact position as us? Yeah, and seriously. no World Series, it doesn't matter if you made it to it, it. No World Series rings. It doesn't matter how far you made it. If you don't have it, you had the exact same season as last place. Boom. I'm saying that as a, as a Sox fan. Boom. Yeah. Even though I will say, Basil, have mm-hmm. you been to Miller uh, Miller Field, Miller Park? I have been. Dude, I, it is like my favorite baseball stadium. That I, is a nice stadium, I love, man. I love going to Miller. I actually went to Miller uh, when the Cubs had – the Cubs were supposed to play in Texas against the Rangers. And then there was like crazy hurricane going on. And then the, because the Sox were playing home, they couldn't go to Wrigley because uh, the city – uh, did not – you can't – the city prohibits the Cubs and the Sox playing at the same time. Because that would completely fuck up the red line, and uh, wait, seriously, I never even noticed that. That's a yeah, thing. You're, yeah, you're not allowed to have Cubs and Sox games on uh, on the same day. Same day you can, I, but you, it has to be a day and night. I'm I'm assuming. I, I they've done same day, man. No, um, like same time. Yeah, they can't be like, same you time. Can do a yeah. day game and a night game. Yeah, that doesn't right. that doesn't matter. But um, the Sox were just playing. I think it was, I think it was a Saturday or something. I don't remember, but. Um, so Great. they let every, so they made, they moved the game to Milwaukee 
And they said, anybody who gets to Milwaukee can go to the game for free. So we're like, hour and a half, let's just go watch a free game of baseball. It's cheaper than uh, paying for parking. Yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> it was cheaper to drive to Milwaukee than drive 13 miles. And you can stop uh, at the Mars Cheese Castle on the way. Can I always stop there every time. Love that and, place. Um, whatchamacallit, that was the Zambrano, uh, that was a no-hitter. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and it was funny because it was the Cubs facing the Rangers, and the Rangers were the the home team while they were in Milwaukee. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, because it was technically it was supposed to be a Rangers home game. Right, right, right. So they counted that game as a home game. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for that. for yeah for the rankings and all that stuff. Yeah. When for was stat. that? Huh? When was that game? Oh, this was. Almost twelve years ago. Let me see. Let me let me. Let's go on. Let's go on the Google machine. Some bra. No. Twelve years no. ago. It was a long. It was a long ass time ago. Zambrano no hitter. Oh, it was eleven years ago. It was uh September fourteenth, two thousand eight. Oh shit. Oh, Damn, it was man. The Astros, not the Rangers. My bad. Texas. Texas. It was all Texas shit. I just remember it was Texas. Uh yeah, so we all we all went up there and uh that was it. That was crazy that there were, or it was already eleven years ago. Because awesome. I remember I went with when my mom used to own a restaurant, there was like there was like a waiter and two waitresses. We're like, Oh let's let's just all go. So they they were all off because they were kids, they were younger at that time. Yeah. And uh they weren't scheduled, so we all went up there. It was pretty dope. Nice, yeah, fun, man. No, I love that stadium, man. It's uh, it's a very nice, nice stadium. I like yeah. how it's laid out. It's laid out in a way that you can get to your seat so easily without like bumping into anybody. It was a I, Sunday. It wasn't. A, I knew it was a weekend. Yeah. All right. Eleven years ago, my memory, my memory's not good from eleven minutes ago. So, well, that's the intro. So, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Backstage Boys podcast. We are here late as hell what doing podcast a... number. Are we on? This is probably twenty-five. I you think. sure? I think, I think it's twenty. 20... You said is to stop 20... counting last episode. No, I said stop counting the. Uh... <laughs> the last I said one? stop counting the thirteen part. <laughs> yeah, I said drop the thirteen gimmick, not drop the e gimmick. Oh, they're saying drop the uh, drop the, the actual, the actual like count gimmick. No, no, just, <laughs> just not the gimmick, just the thirteen gimmick. Just the thirteen gimmick. Yeah, the thirteen 30 plus, gimmick. however many. Yeah, gimmick. yeah. Once we hit ten, that was like okay, we're done. <laughs> well, this is episode number twenty five, guys. We are here to do a quick uh, Art of War preview. This is a, a little match breakdown. Not everything has been announced. We uh, There's only a few things announced, but that kind of keeps the things mysterious, which is nice. But here to give you a little preview. It's a little, sh- you know, a little short notice. I mean, this is going to drop on Friday the day before the show. So technically, Basil. That's two sleeps. Huh? Two sleeps, uh, basically. You got Friday to listen to this, and you got Saturday, Saturday. On, your, on your way to the show, right? They can listen on the way to the show. Do that. <laughs> Guys, uh, our – okay, I got I to gotta thank the fans real quick. Our listenership incredible lately. Our us venturing into YouTube was awesome. Uh, you know, there's like new people discovering us on YouTube. I noticed it's like every episode has gotten more and more on YouTube, which is great. But along with that, like our iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Google Play numbers have been great. So guys, seriously, like thank you, uh, Basil. We're getting like people listening to us in the UK a lot. Canada, uh, Cambodia was up there. Cambodia, Bolivia was up there. Like, what the hell? People are listening to AW and Chicago Independence. Hey, and, man, it's hey, not man. a shock that two brown guys have some international appeal. That's right. That's right. You guys like it. You guys like it. Caramel. Caramel is a universal. Hazelnut. Hazelnut and caramel, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, man. So, quick little preview for everybody. So, you guys are ready for Saturday. Uh, whoever, you know, basically who hasn't. Whoever hasn't seen the um, who hasn't seen the uh, the stuff on the AW Twitter, we're gonna run it down real quick, give you a cu- couple insights, a little thoughts on it, and then we're gonna let Basil get back to sleep because I really, I really woke the the bear here. 
tonight. He did. <laughs> he knows, and he knows how cranky I get when I don't get my sleep. He's gonna be, you're gonna be a terror at. Dude, uh, it took me like three hours to wake up the day after the show in Austin. <laughs> you saw, you saw. I did. I did. It was ridiculous. <laughs> All right, so let's run it down, Basil. We're gonna run out a couple matches, throw some my uh, throw some thoughts on there, and then we'll let these people get out their day. What do you say? Good. I'm gonna kick it off real quick. I'm gonna talk about the fight for the future participants at this show. Man, these, huh? these young kids. These young kids, man. We got. I believe these are all St. Louis kids this time. These are all from. Yeah, all, yeah all, whatever. They're all Michael Elgin's kids. Yeah, they're all Elgin. I think these are all Elgin's kids, right? Yeah. So they're all Elgin's kids out of the St. Louis area. So we're gonna have uh, Savannah Stone, Ace Perry, uh, Jody Threat, and Sheldon Jean. I think it is. Ace Sheldon Perry Jean. is the one that I'm excited to see again at AW because he had uh, some shows in LaSalle. So does Savannah Stone, right? We had yeah. Her well, no, twice. Savannah even did uh, Bourbon Street. That's right. This is her first. Yeah. This is her first actual. In the city of Chicago, I mean, I consider Bourbon Street part of our Chicago shows per se. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So. But yeah, man, we got uh, we got the St. Louis kids on this one, so this is gonna be cool. We'll be getting uh, so we've been putting out the Back to the Future, uh, Back to the Future, <laughs> Fight for Back the Future, to the Future, <laughs> Fight for the Future <sighs> stuff on Twitter. On, uh, Strap YouTube. in, Buckaroos, we're going back in time, eight miles an hour. Uh, we've been putting the stuff out on YouTube. It's getting a good response. People have been digging it. So, guys, this is the future of the business. People are getting signed left and right. So we need the young blood, man. We got to see who's out there, who is training, who's ready. So what I want to emphasize about Fight for the Future is that at any given moment, anybody you're watching in there is going to be the next breakout star because everybody started off like these guys. Dark matches getting an opportunity so don't sleep on these guys you know i mean last month we had uh we had a bunch of fight for the future matches and dude i love like steve manders totally broke out for me i was so digging steve manders and and travis titan you know he did great manders was good uh yeah. ja ja front man ja. ja he was good too front man ja yeah dude i mean I I honestly believe the crowd would have been there more, but we were literally fighting a snowstorm, and it took like and it was a Friday show. It was a no, it was Saturday. Was it a Saturday show? Yeah, yeah. But I would tell everybody get there early. Doors gonna be at five uh, five thirty on this one. So uh, or no, be there. Yeah, five thirty or six. I can't I'm trying to remember what we decided on, but fight for the future starts early. I'm talking like six forty five. So. Doors are at six. Doors at six. Yeah, my bad. Doors are so, at six. Uh, fight for the future is six forty-five. Main show is seven thirty. There you go. So guys, get there and get watching these matches. Seriously, you don't want to sleep on these guys. These are get to know them. You'll be you know if they're good, let us know who you liked. We want to know who you like on this uh, on fight for the future. So so yeah, Savannah Stone, Jody Threat, Ace Perry, and Sheldon and uh, what's his what what what, what? Sheldon Jean. Yep. So check them out, guys. All right, so that's going to be five for the future. And here's the main card, right? Here's what we got announced. This Let's go. All right, Kylie Ray taking on Sue Young. for the, And it's going to be for the AW Women's Championship. Kylie defending. This I'm excited for. Dude, I love Sue Young. Sue Young is the shit. Sue and Kylie. I believe Sue and Kylie had a match at Berman. Or not Berman, Berwin. At Berwin? Yeah. Is that? Was that against? That was Kelly? Kylie's debut. Really, Berwin? Yeah, remember she wrestled at. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it really quick, but I think. I remember Sue, Sue being in Berwin. I don't recall who she fought. I didn't think it was Kylie though. I thought it was Kylie. Hold on. Really interesting. Yeah, dude. Hell hath no fury, 2017. No kidding. There you go, man. Yeah, so... it was. Uh... Hold on. Yep. It was part of the tournament, wasn't it? Yeah, the women's. it was the women's tournament. Oh, so Sue was in the women's tournament. Yeah, remember that? So Sue was in the tournament. Kylie was in that tournament. Kylie's now holding Delia, the title. Delilah Doom, Veda Scott, man. I forgot who was in that tournament, man. Dude, this is like... Ooh. That was when Austin Theory made his debut. Uh, that was one of the first times we saw Strickland... 
Uh, yeah, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, man. The, oh, that was Josh Alexander. That was Josh Alexander versus Phoenix. That was the surprise. Uh, yes. That, that was the surprise uh, main event. Dude, yeah, yeah. That was good, too. Delilah was Doom. Night. Delilah was Doom, night. actually. That was a very good night. I saw Delilah Doom's debut on Impact, on Impact this week. Did you see that? I did. I didn't know she was. Uh, is she local to Vegas or what? Uh, L.A. I guess she's close enough. Yeah, interesting. I didn't know she was gonna get her TV. You spot. know what? This was the last show at Bur- at uh at Berwyn. Hell, Ethno Fury 2017 was our goodbye to Berwyn. Yeah, I remember it just ended abruptly. Like, yeah, there was there was no goodbye because it was decided after the show that we weren't gonna go back. Oh, that's and then, right. Uh, every and then everything in 2018 got changed because we had a bunch of uh, Berwyn dates and they all got changed to Logan. Dude, we're Remember, fine. I'm, I mean, we we outgrew it, man. Like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not over it. upset about it, but I'm just saying that was the last show. Interesting. I forgot that it was. Yeah. Crazy. Because then we went to Windy City Classic. Uh, no, we had we had two shows that November. We had yes. the we had the show before the because I remember we this was before the G1 climax, the mm-hmm. the tag team climax for New Japan. And uh, we moved it to – it was always the day – no, it was always Thanksgiving. And then mm. in 2017, we moved it to after Christmas. And because of the G1 tag team climax, because Elgin was supposed to be in the main event, we moved it to the 28th. Or we moved it to December. Mm, that's right. That's right. Well, it brings up so many good memories, <laughs> dude. Yeah, seriously. I mean, we we don't get to like stop and smell the roses. You know what I mean? Like this yeah, stuff is. There was no. There was no roses then. Remember? There was no roses. <laughs> there was no roses. Then. Just... It was all thorns. Literally a bush of thorns. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but so Kylie Sue Young, man, this is uh, this will be great. Sue Young's always awesome. I want to try to definitely do something for her entrance on this one. I think. Mm. Uh, we have we have options, you know, in that building. No, can't go can't go that far. No caskets at Logan. No, but we at least got some lights, man. Those red lights, you know, I can do something with that. Baby, I like it. Um, all right, so we'll see. Who do you got in this one? I think Kylie will retain. Oh no, this is Kylie. That's her house. Yeah, I mean, Sue is not in AEW enough. I don't think she's gonna overthrow her. Because it's like, when will she defend the title? I mean, if she, but if she wins, it's a matter of where she's going to do with that title. She might take it away, take it back down it'll, to hell. It'll go to the hell. underrealm or whatever the hell it's called, the undead, right? The undead realm, man. She take it over there. Give, give it to Father. Give it to Father James Mitchell. Yeah, have it, have it, <laughs> give it to Joseph Parks while he's down there. <laughs> or Joe Park. So we they left him. They left uh, him in there forever. Next match is going to be Sammy Guevara and Darby Allen. This is uh this is cool. It's nice. Do you know what it is? It's nice to see Darby not in a David versus Goliath match. Yeah, finally Darby like with something he can really sink his teeth into, right? Well, Darby had a, Darby had that match with Strickland. I think at the gym. It was either at the All In shows or the Jim Lynham tournament. I'm trying to remember. Can't remember. Whatever but he it was, did, he did face Strickland, and that was nice. It was good to see. Um, not a similar style, but similar body type. Yeah, size wise, I think Strickland's a little bigger than him, though, for sure. So. Oh yeah, 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 Strickland is bigger, but like both lean, both like fast on their feet Smooth. type thing. Yeah, yeah. but this him will be and fun, Sammy though. are like identical. Sammy and him will be fun. This will be a good match. Sammy's been playing that heel. Uh, he's been healing it up a lot, being like a little prick. I mean, playing that heel. That that's what that's who he is. That fucking prick. <laughs> uh, this should be fun. This this one, I I fully I think Darby is definitely on fire. I'm going with Darby on this one. I think he is that dude is is reaching another another level right now in his career, and I think um, he's really over in Logan Square. And then Chicago really took to him very quickly, and so I think uh, this will be cool. This will be a lot of fun. Yeah, I I mean I want my my heart is telling me Darby, but my gut is telling me Sammy. I mean we've right. seen we've seen Sammy get some upsets by cheating, so I mean I don't put it past him. 
True. I'm not. I won't say no. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see where this one goes. I think uh, either way, it's going to be really fun. I think it's a first time match. Have they ever fought each other? Mm, I believe they have. Mm. I'll look. I'll look. Sammy right. Guevara. Taking over. Live, live research on uh, Netflix. Never. Uh, I don't know. It, might, it's, it looks like it's added. MLW had him in 2017. Oh, okay. All right. So no, no strangers, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, 2007. I mean, so much has changed for both of them. For both of them, especially. I mean, especially Darby. Yeah. Darby uh, just becoming a lot more refined. Sammy's just getting older, like more, like mature, more in tune with what he wants. Still looks like he's 15. Yep. That one. <laughs> Uh, AW Heritage Championship match: DJ Z and Jody Fleisch. Jody <laughs> Fleisch. DJ Z, DJ Z, DJ, DJ, DJ Z. Um, Jody Fleisch from the UK, right? Yes, I, buddy. I saw him on. The, I've never seen him other than the Impact and UK special versus the UK, and I believe he uh, he was doing World of Sport and stuff like that. So, dude's good, solid. Yep. Uh, DJ is on fire though. Yeah, no, I mean, this this is DJ's match. Come on, man. Like no I don't think anybody can take dethrone him right now. I and also I'm not allowed to to pick up again a pick against DJ. Yeah, no, you're not because it's 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 the bias in me that won't allow that. Your Sorry, little guys. brother I have to be fair. Your little brother would kill you. No. <laughs> DJ's my older brother. DJ's your older brother, but your little your little shithead brother. Oh, that's that that little that little shit machine, that little turd biscuit uh MJF. MJF, who he loves you like an older brother. You, you treat him like a younger brother. Yeah. <laughs> but DJ is your older smells. brother. He smells. He he's, sucks. He's a stinker. He doesn't even know how to wash his hair. Curly mop. No. Rollo head. I, get, I, I legit get pissed off when he doesn't shave. Like, yeah, I was like, looked, what are you, like, what are you doing? It looks absurd. <laughs> I was like, please, I'm like, please shave. Present yourself a little better. Like, you're absurd. Like <laughs> look look decent here. You're under contract for God's sake. <laughs> uh, DJ is incredible. We love DJ Z. He is, uh, dude. I mean, it's like I see I see DJ on a, on a show, and I'm like, what the hell is he gonna pull out for this one? Because he was ridiculous in the last one. He busted his lip on the last show. Uh, he got a couple handful of stitches. <laughs> you know, like this dude just goes hard, man. He's the young go hard. He doesn't doesn't stop. But uh, he, no, he's hmm? he's talented. He's he's so intense, man. The dude the dude just is not never phones it in. Now now that he's a free agent, we're gonna see him in so many different types of places. Oh yeah, dude. There's a lot going on, DJ Z. So stay tuned to DJ Z. I mean, he's he is only getting this year started, guys. This is gonna be a phenomenal phenomenal year for DJ. Always a bounce back. I mean, the guy the guy never. Gives up, man. He is one of the most dedicated dudes. So good for him. Yep. Uh, so Sammy has been announced. No opponent. He has been announced to be there. That's all we know. So as far as anybody knows, Sammy is is there. That's it. Any, pr- any predictions? I think Sammy is going to call out somebody is my, my prediction. I think can he's going to make Can I build off of that? Go ahead. I think Sammy is going to call out Austin Aries. Austin Aries, huh? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. I think I think Austin's going to be in town. Austin has a lot of free time on his hands now. Oh yeah. Him and he... him and him and uh, Sammy have been going at it on Twitter. Sammy's got belt. Dude, Sam's got the belt. Sammy has been. I heard. I heard it. This. I think I saw this on a dirt sheet. Maybe from Meltzer, but I heard that Aries likes to collect belts. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, he just made that pretty clear that he likes to collect belts. Yeah, I don't uh, know. That's just dirt cheat talk. Yeah, all right, we'll see. But uh, dude, yeah, listen, they were going at it hardcore on on Twitter. I mean, a lot of lot of jabs. We'll see. Uh, We'll see what happens with that. But Sammy's definitely been announced. So the champ is in the house, guys. Belt will be there. Champ is there. 
So, all right, as far as announced, before I say the main event, have we announced anything else? Because we, yeah, have... we have the uh, triple threat tag team match. That's right. Go ahead and run it out. So we have Hot Fire. Well, that's what I was going to say. That's the main event. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Any other tag matches? Uh, yeah, I do know. That, yeah, that's we, all we've we, announced. I, I do know that David Starr will be in attendance. All of wrestling will be in attendance. Well, there you go. There's so, shit. Shit's going to pop, man. Shit's shit gonna pop. is going to pop. Go ahead, and run, go ahead and run down that, that main. Go that main that event. Down. So we have a triple threat tag team match for the AAW Tag Team Championships. Wait, wait, wait. Pause, pause, pause. We have one more match we forgot that, that's been announced. What? Jimmy Jacobs and Mance Warner, baby. Oh, Mancer. Oh, oh Larry Mance and Light Beers. Flares and Light Beers. Larry oh. and Light Goddamn Beers has been announced for that one. So that's Actually, another one. You know what? Actually, when this drops, I'm actually going to be dropping a Jimmy Jacobs picture on the Instagram. Oh, nice. There you go. I put yep. one up of yours. I put one of yours up on the Instagram, the uh, from the dog collar match in, in Austin, and we were down there. I put that yep. one up. But, uh, yeah, Jimmy and Mancer, it's good. That's that'll be fun. Two guys who aren't scared to, to hurt hurt themselves and each other. Can we just expect that's going to be... Uh... Bloody mania. That's going to be in. That's going to be in the crowd. In the crowd. Bloody mania. Lots of beers, lariats, you name it. Lots of nail polish. Lots of eyeliner. A lot of shit's going to happen in that one. <laughs> All right, Laura, run that main event. You started. Go ahead. So we have the current champions, the Lucha Brothers, consisting of Penta El Zero M and Ray Phoenix. Ray. Against, huh? Ray Phoenix. Yeah. Ray Phoenix. Uh, and then we have the former champions, Fire Fox, consisting of Myron Reed and AR Fox, against the Lucha Brothers. I think this is the first time they faced them. Um, LAX. Ooh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're all over the place here. I said, is I think this is the first time that the Lucha Brothers. Oh, have... <laughs> no, it is not the first. Time. No. <laughs> oh wait, first time on that Saturday. I apologize. Yes, first time this week. <laughs> first time of this week. But uh, yeah, LAX Ortiz and Santana in the house, triple threat for the tag team titles, guys. This will be insane. But yeah, I, if there's any two teams that know each other like each other, it's LAX and the Lucha Bros. God damn. How many matches? How many matches? <laughs> we All have? of them. All of them. But uh, this will be fun. At least we'll know it'll be fun. I mean, we saw what happened in Austin with the Lucha Brothers and um, and uh, Firefox. So, I mean, dude, there's a lot of... And LAX has been on fire just killing it. So, nothing short. Nothing short of incredible here. But that'll be cool, man. I... Uh, I think uh, I think we got a retention. I'm going with the Lucha Brothers retention on this one. I, you know, you know what? Do you know what I think is going to happen? LAX are going to pin um, Firefox, and they're going to get the oh, title. They're not going to even. They're not going to even pin the Lucha Brothers. Oh shit! All right, all right. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. All I, I like... know is hmm. with everybody in the ring, there's going to be an insane amount of super kicks. Going to be that's going to be happening. And and Every, uh, everyone's and destroyers. Fly off. destroyers and kicks, destroyers, <laughs> kicks, everything's gonna happen in that match. Uh, that's gonna be nuts, but uh, yeah, dude, it's gonna be in splashes. Myron and Myron and Fox with their splashes, that'll be fun. But uh, I mean, th- this match is, I, I hope this match means, yeah, I think, I think that's that's what that's what it's looking like. I mean, it's it's, it's such a good, it's such a good match. Like, I don't know how anyone's gonna be able to. To, to to perform after that yeah i think i think it's inevitable that's uh that I mean that's, that's a it's such a feature match man i mean what the hell we did main with the tag belts in austin too yeah you know so that's the tag the, the aw tag team division i mean we're leaving off the rascals here but shit man wrestling the rascals i mean dude aw tag besties. division it's besties if dude, we if we if we bring back the regal twins 
Dude, we're on fire with the, with the tag team division. It's it yeah. is completely on fire right now. Oh, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, but uh, yeah, man. But looking at the poster, like you said, wrestling will be in the house, and everybody else we talked about. So uh, that's all we got announced, guys. It's a little ominous. Obviously, no, it's not the whole card. It's it's the it's it's part of that elite group of sold out shows, and when the shows sell out, we kind of give you a little bit of surprise. Yeah, I mean, it's the thing. The AW, you know we're going to deliver. You know that we we definitely are going to bring you a great show. So and speaking of sold out, this is our third. This is our bet. I mean, let's see. Windy City Classic sold out. Show yeah. in uh, December. Um, December sold out. Yep. So, uh, Austin, Texas sold out. And... Here we are sold out. So, I mean, that's four back-to-back shows sold out. What about um, what was in January? We're missing one. No, you, no you're thinking of November. No, no, no. What, what happened in January? We We're had missing. a sold-out show in January, I said. Right. So, yeah, no. So, we had the, we had the classic. We only had, one show. we only had one show in January. Right. So, we had classic. What was in January? I can't remember the name of the January show. I don't remember but we had we had December, January, Austin, and this is that's oh just that was final four, stand, final stand, final stand, right? We have four sellouts on a row technically. I just said that. I think I said three. I said four. Keith online said three only, but he's no, not counting Austin. He's not. He's not counting Austin. Yeah, dude, well, Austin was a sellout. Well, he was counting Logan being sold out. Oh, okay, like yeah. three times that we sold out Logan. True, true. Um, but yeah, fourth sellout, man. I mean, Austin was. Austin was capacity to the point where the building was pissed. <laughs> they're like, they're like all of these people here. They're like, how many goddamn people are here? <laughs> Dude, they were so pissed. They had they're this like, like elitist attitude to them, and I was like, ugh. It's it's an odd venue, man. I mean, they didn't like, like they didn't like any wrestling. I mean, they don't they didn't like it. They were they, upset they literally with... did not like wrestling. They didn't like that people were going there and being like all loud and stuff. They didn't like wrestling fans, dude. No. <laughs> In their classy, artsy theater establishment. <laughs> but no, dude. But that's it, guys. That's that's, that's it. all it's announced. That's it. The show is sold out. If you don't have tickets, we're sorry. But I always say this. If you want to show up and stand in line, if it's not, if it's you have time, you never know. Things open up. People don't make it. People call in cancellations. If you have the time and you're willing to wait in line... You can come by and, and wait. And if things open up, we will inform you. Absolutely. We'll check and let us know that you don't have tickets. And if anything is open, we you will take it. Let us know. I def, I never like to turn people away. But if, uh, like I said, there's it's capacity, it's capacity. But come on down. Things ha- always come up. So, But Logan Square is going to be ridiculous on Saturday. <laughs> it's yep. going to be a lot of people. It's going to be insane. Guys, yeah, this is this is one. Thanks to all of you for making it this this insane. I mean, uh, we got a I lot of cool this, stuff planned. I hope this tells I hope this tells people to like get your tickets early. That's the thing, guys. Don't Thanks wait for, for the early. door. Like the whole waiting at the door thing is not gonna be uh, is not a guarantee anymore. I was a notorious ticket at the door guy. Notorious. That's all I, for anything really. But uh, like, if I was going to AW still as a fan right now. I'd be so bummed. Like I, I would not be able to get into my favorite show. Nope. So, get your tickets early, guys. When they go on sale, like get them because they are going to be gone. So, but that's it, man. That's the quick preview. Want to just quickly run that down for you guys? Get it out there. I know we we didn't give it enough time for them to absorb it, Basil. But they'll be uh, they'll be uh, they'll get a little something as they as they head over to the venue. So. Keep uh, come say hello to the backstage boys while please, you're there, right, guys? Please, please don't be mad at us for for having this sh- short little episode. No, don't be mad, but come say hi to us. Or if you're mad at us, come tell us you're mad at us. If you're mad, go to Trent. If you're happy, come to me. Wait, I want to oh, send a message. Remember that guy? That, okay, we were recognized guys in public at the Chicago Wolves game a few months back, and I think that guy goes to shows. So hey, man, if you're the if you're the guy who recognized us at the Wolves game, come talk to us at this show. And let us know what's up. Like, say hello. We want to know. You know, we know who you are. Be like, but, uh, hi, and hi. if you're 
And if you're counterpoint guy, you better come tell us who you are too. I want to, I want some revelations here, man. I want to know who this bastard is already. He he won't come forward. Oh, he's at the show. I guarantee he's at the goddamn. He show. is at the show. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so we can just filter out through uh, all the names of who buy tickets. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Like, what's your first name? Counter, last name, point guy. Wait a minute. Um, like, dude, yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, that's a quick episode, guys. Definitely. Again, it's not streaming, unfortunately. It's, we know, we know. Don't yell at us. Uh, it's being worked on, but not streaming. I will have Twitter results and uh, some clips and little things for you guys all night. Take a look at the social media if you're not uh, going to be at the show. I'll make sure to have um, keep you guys up to date so you feel like you're there. Basil, anything else you want to uh, and I'll have the show before we get into the plugs? Nope. All right. Be good. Tell them where they can find you. Uh, you can find me at Twitter and Instagram at BZ. That's B two E's four Z's and a Y. And then you can view all my photos at basilmahmood.com. And that's it. Trent, where where can they find you? You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Vanilla Joke. You can also find me at hemimusic.com. And uh, let's see here. Oh, and also I, I, I did the thing with my YouTube page. You can look me up. Just Google uh, our YouTube Trent Zuberi or the Backstage Boys. I'll come right up. I, uh, I put all my stuff that I do on my YouTube page, my bands, my, uh, my podcasts, you know, any appearances I'm making on anything else. It's all on my YouTube page. Check it out. But uh, you can find this show. Anywhere podcasts are found on Apple, iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, and Spotify. I'm working on a few more, but also YouTube. So don't forget to like, review, subscribe on everything, anywhere you listen. You can also find the show and connect with us at The BSB Show on Facebook and Twitter. And, oh, Basil, is the um, the uh, the Instagram, is that ready yet? I had to work this week, so next week. Next week it is for the Instagram. All right, guys, that's going to that's gonna do it for us. We'll see you Saturday at the Logan Square Auditorium on February 23rd. Holy shit, February's almost over. All right, guys, remember, <laughs> bell, <laughs> bell time Bell time is uh, 5 for the future, 645, actual main show, 730. Make sure you're there. We will see you at the Art of War. Bye. Bye.